Good morning. My name is Alvin Pura from the OST Pagasa and for today I will be presenting some brief information about the second project of the DOST Mega Take of Vote program. This project is entitled the Radar and Strometry Data Application and High Resolution Quantitative Precipitation Forecast for Complex Terrain. Weather radar provides high quality meteorological data in terms of space and time. Because of this, it has become a vital tool for different meteorological applications, both in operations and in research. So in Pagasa, radars are used for rainfall and thunderstorm warning system, as well as for monitoring tropical cyclone movement. But one of the challenges in using radar is how it accurately estimates the rainfall. And a way to improve this is through analyzing the microphysical characteristics of the precipitation system which are revealed by the drop size distribution of rain observed by ground distrometers. But what is the strometer? The strometer is an instrument that measures the size and fall velocity of hydrometeor. A distrometer is a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter generates a horizontal light beam which the receiver converts into an electrical signal. Now, when a raindrop enters or pass through this light beam, the electrical signal changes. And from the change in electrical pulses, the hydrometer size and fall velocity can be derived. In addition, strometers can also measure rainfall intensity. It can classify hydrometer. And more importantly, it can be used for radar calibrations for the derivation of ZR relation. In general, the QP procedure is done by applying a radar rain rate estimator. For conventional radar, the ZR relationship is used to estimate rainfall. With this method, we relate the radar reflectivity and the rain rate. Uh, various ZR are normally derived on different geographic locations to consider climate conditions, storm types, and other geographical conditions. The use of single default ZR may not fully address the complicated characteristics of rain, and it can result to over or underestimation of rainfall estimates. With the availability of distrometers, we can calibrate the radar by finding the best ZR fit within the study sites. On the other hand, for dual polarization radar, the dual polarimetric variables is used to estimate rain rate. The study suggests that the QPE that is based on the dual polarization have shown improvement in as compared to the ZR relations. In our project, one of the objectives is to improve the drop distribution retrieval and QPE using the strometers and dual polarimetric data. In 2018, as part of Pagasa modernization plan, a total of 22 distrometers were installed throughout the country. Eight sites are within the NCRPRST, which will be utilized in this research project together with the two radar sites, which is Tagaytay and Subic. And once we have retrieved the drop size distribution data from the distrometers, we can use it as a ground reference to calibrate the two radars. And secondly, we'll also be using the retrieved drop size distribution data to understand the microphysical characteristics of Philippine precipitation systems. The second objective of the project is to improve typhoon and heavy rain simulation in complex terrain. Time lag strategy will be implemented in Bagasa Operational Wharf 3 km model. We will utilize the DSD data or the drop size distribution data and the radar based QPE to validate its performance. So basically, the time lag technique takes into account uncertainties in the weather forecast and it provides a much more reliable information compared to a deterministic QPF. At the end of this project, the following output is expected to be accomplished. The derivation of radar based QPE, blended QPE, and QPF will be a great addition in the, in the issuance of now casting in Pagasa. And secondly, the derivation of the wharf time lag ensemble product will be helpful for short range weather forecasting. And lastly, with the retrieval and analysis of drop size distribution information, can result 
to a better characterization of different precipitation types in the Philippines and their vertical distribution and deep convective system. That would be all and thank you for listening.